Hi, welcome to my next video. This time I wanted to show you something a bit different. This is a thing that I have been working on for almost a year now, I think. Uh, and it's even more special because this is a collaboration with MD Paper, which is the maker of the awesome cotton sketchbooks that I have been using for years. And Kinokunia, which is the store that sells my Tokyo Storyfronts and Tokyo at Night books in US. And we made this. I know that a lot of you want to make art, are interested in drawing, sketching and painting. So I wanted to have a set of tools that I would be able to recommend and you'd be able to buy. Uh, and now, thanks to this collaboration, uh, I have this set for you. This is a set of tools for drawing and sketching and light watercolors containing stuff that I have been using for years in my work, in my everyday work. And some of the tools here are just really, really the base of my everyday work that I can really, really recommend. Okay, so I'm really excited about this set. I hope you will like it and just let's just check it out and see what's inside the box. Okay, so here is the box. It's quite big, actually substantial. I'm really not good at these unboxing kind of videos, so please forgive if I'll ramble a bit about this set, but okay, so here it is. Let's open the box and let's see what's inside. So the first thing you can see when you open the box are the booklets. So the big booklet, this one here, is one that I made especially for this box. It contains some text about all the tools that are featured and some pictures that I did. And there is a second smaller booklet explaining about MD paper, about their notebooks and their sketchbooks and about the paper that goes into these. The products of MD paper are my notebooks and sketchbooks of choice for a few years now, I think. And the paper that goes into these is excellent for drawing and for writing. I also use them for fountain pen writing. Okay, so let's see what's inside this main envelope. These are the tools that are featured in this box. I wanted to make this set as versatile as possible, so the tools can be all used separately on their own, but also this set on its own is a complete thing that you can have for drawing and sketching and some light watercolor painting also. Okay, so let's have a closer look at all the tools and this is the first one, so the cotton sketchbook. I have been using these cotton based sketchbooks for all the concept art, all the sketching, all the kind of thinking and brainstorming that I do because this is really, really nice sketchbook to use. It has great quality cotton based paper. This is not a watercolor sketchbook. The paper is nice and sturdy, but it's not thick enough. So it's not a watercolor or not even, I think, mixed media sketchbook. It's more geared towards sketching with pencils, with color pencils, drawing also, but can be used with light watercolors. And so I have my own sketchbook here. This is the one that I'm currently using. So in this set, I featured a sketchbook that's exactly the same size as the one that I love. And as you can see, I do a lot of sketching for all the work that I usually do here in this sketchbook. Apart from the great quality paper, I like it a lot because it has a lot of pages and it opens almost flat so it's really really easy to use and easy to scan also. Next in the set are these Supra Color 2 watercolor color pencils. These are made by Karandash and I chose eight colors that I think make up an interesting set. I spent a long time figuring out this set and thinking about which colors to include. I didn't want to include too few or too many also, but I wanted to make this set a universal set so you would be able to draw and paint a lot of various things but also at the same time I wanted to make the colors kind of unique so this is not just your standard set of colors. It was really hard to get this balance right but I think I got close enough and also as you saw before I use these pencils a lot in my own 
work also. Okay, so the next thing is the Tombow Mono Eraser. It's a great eraser. It's almost an icon of Japanese illustration and comics making. And I use it all the time, every day. So I can really recommend it. Next thing is the water brush. This is made by Kuretake and I chose the bigger one. So the one that has the large tip, but the short body, because this is a very versatile size for sketching and using these outdoors. This is a great tool to have, especially if you are using the watercolor color pencils. This is a great companion tool for these because you can use it to dilute the drawing that you did already on the paper. So you can use it like this, but also you can pick some colors straight from the tip of the watercolor pencil and use them as you would just watercolors in your sketchbook. So this is a great companion tool. Okay, so next we have these two. These are two sizes of the Unipin waterproof and fade proof black fine liners 0.3 and 0.5. I thought a lot about which fine liners to include in this set. The Unipins are not maybe a major player, but I like how sturdy the body feels and how smooth and nice to the touch it feels and also how the cup just fits on the end of the pen with a satisfying click. These pens produce black, waterproof, really great looking lines, especially on this cotton paper and again work great in combination with the watercolor pencils. Okay, so the next thing is the Blackwing Natural Pencil. You have seen me using this many, many times on my channel. This is the standard pencil that I almost always go to when I just want to do some sketching, some concept work in my sketchbook. But also this is soft and black enough that you can just do a sketch, a drawing with this pencil only. So it will work as a standalone tool, but also in combination with the color watercolor pencils or with the black fine liners too. To sharpen this pencil, I featured the Faber Castell 9000 sharpener. At the studio, I usually prefer to use a sharpening knife, but when I just go somewhere to sketch, I like to have this sharpener with me. It has two holes, but I use the smaller one. I just open it part way and it's very stable this way. I think it has a great balance of quality features and price. It doesn't give you the longest point from all the sharpeners that are out there, but it's good enough. Okay, so the last part is the booklet that I created for this set. The first part lists all the things that are in the set. So the pencils, the fine liners, color pencils, the brush pen, sketchbook, eraser, and the sharpener. And further, I explain about these tools and give some tips how to use them just one by one and together to make a more complicated picture. So first, for example, I explained how to use the pencil and the fine liners just by themselves. And also you can use the color pencils just by themselves to do this kind of illustration. But also you can combine them, of course, with the brush pen to make a watercolor like illustration. I explained also about the erasers and the sharpeners and so on. Finally, I show a picture which includes all the tools used together. I sketched it with the pencil, draw the lines with fine liners, and then finally colored it using the color watercolor pencils and the water brush. All the pictures featured in this booklet, I did especially for this set. So I drew and painted them in the cotton sketchbook using the tools from this set. This booklet was designed so it is the same size as the cotton sketchbook so you can take it with you. There's also a second smaller booklet that explains a lot about the MD paper company that made the sketchbook, so about their paper history and so on, and it also uses some of my artwork. Okay, let's now go to the second part of this video. I wanted to show you again how the tools of this set can be used together to make a simple watercolor sketch. As I told you in the first part, all the main tools of this set can be used separately. So you can make a sketch with the pencils, you can make a drawing with the fine liners, and you can make a drawing also with the color pencils on their own. And all these tools will get you great effects on the cotton 
MD paper sketchbook but the point of this set is that you can mix and match all the main tools so you can use the color pencils with the water brush or you can use the fine liners with the color pencils and you can also make the line art with the pencil and then color it with the color pencils too so i think it's a versatile set and it can give you a lot of opportunity to try drawing and painting styles that maybe you haven't done yet even if you are an advanced sketcher let's say but also if you are new to drawing and sketching it will give you a base set of good quality tools to start and get excited about making art this whole thing was inspired by the art making set that was sold by the Ghibli Bijitskan, so the Ghibli Museum. That was a very neat set chosen by Hayao Miyazaki himself for sketching with watercolors. So it featured like a watercolor sketchbook and proper set of watercolors uh, brush and so on. And since I saw it, I thought that it would be really, really great to have one of my own, so a set of tools that I could recommend. I don't know why, but when I see tools, they make me excited about making art. They make me excited about the possibilities that I can get with them. So I think it's great to receive a set like this or just buy one for yourself if you are interested. I remember getting a set of tools when I was a kid, for example, but most of these were just low quality markers and so on which didn't get me really far at making art so i wanted to have a set where i'm really 100 percent sure that these tools will serve you well okay let me tell you a bit about what i'm actually drawing here this is a scene based on a photo that i took when we were still living near the kiyosumi Teien, so the kiyosumi japanese garden we actually moved recently so this is the first video from our new studio you might have noticed the table changed at last so we have a new table i will do a tour of our new workspace soon i think either way a few years ago when the sakura season was on so when the cherries were in blossom i just went for a walk in the neighborhood and saw this entrance to a building with the bicycle in front of it and with a great shadow also on the road and i just took a picture for my reference folder and now i thought that this scene would match perfectly with what i wanted to show you with the box tools Okay, I'll leave you here so you can watch the rest of the painting process and I'll meet you again at the end of the video to explain a bit more about the box itself. If you are impatient to know more about the box right now, you can go to the description. There are links there and everything is explained. Okay, the picture is nearly done, I will show you the finished version in a moment, but let me tell you a bit more about the box. 
This box was made in collaboration with MD Paper, who make the sketchbook, but also with Kinokuniya, so the store that sells my books in US. So with Kinokuniya US, the box will be available in the Kinokuniya Seattle store, so you can just go and buy the box yourself, or you can buy the box on the Kinokuniya US online store because the actual physical box product was made in collaboration with Kinokuniya US these are the only two ways to buy the box right now I know that a lot of you are not located in the US or cannot buy from Kinokuniya US but this collaboration was the only way for me to make this box exist right now because I'm making this video a bit beforehand all the details including the release date the link, the price and so on will be featured below in the description so have a look there. Anyway I'm really really happy that this box is ready I would like to thank MD Paper and Kinokuniya for taking care of the major part of work that was needed to make this possible. Thank you so much. Okay that's it for this video I hope you liked it as always feel free to comment share and subscribe and you can also support me on Patreon. Your support on Patreon allows me to spend time making these videos and boxes for you also. Okay, see you next time. Bye!